<laughs> I just like to make a quick announcement. Uh, uh, Cam, Cameron, and myself are uh, are uh, officers in the Visual Arts Association. Um, she's the treasurer. I am the president. Um, we just sold one of her paintings today, um, and it was selling some, we're selling paintings to raise funds. Um, this project uh, is kind of like a carryover from the last project in which um, I rendered a, a nightmare that I have. And uh, so I chose this quote uh, for several reasons, but I thought that there's kind of like a tie-in with the dreams. Um, this is Martin Luther King's uh, speech, uh, I Have a Dream. I'm pretty, pretty sure people are familiar with that. But in addition to that, some of the inspiration for this project was that everybody has a dream, um, even though you know, that dream might turn into a nightmare. Um, so with this project, um, the professor influenced me to try to use the font um, as a, uh, a, a way of conveying art, um, not putting the font on top of art. So I um, painted this uh, uh, quote on here, and I lassoed it out. And, um, and that's the way I got to my process. Um, So wanting to use the, uh, the font as the art, um, what I did, I did a, a background with the font and I extruded it. I can go through the detail. Okay, there it is. Sorry, um, technical difficulties. Appreciate your patience. So I wanted to, um, I, I put, I chose to put, to repeat the quote twice. Um, I have a dream, I have a dream, everybody has a dream. So the background is uh, the uh, quote, um, uh, extruded with a um, pyramid shape, and then I lassoed out. Obviously, repeated the process and lassoed out um, these. Well, I have another copy of this. I lassoed it out and then um, laid it over the uh, background. Feedback, guys. I think the second I have a dream with a nice touch. I think it's really, you know how it's doing, like you don't really remember it. Yeah. Kind of like, kind of like it's blending in with everything. That is an issue, um, I mean, I do remember some, but I do, have, do forget a lot of things. I appreciate the tension all around, um, drawing you back to the center. And I also see it as kind of taking you out, like reaching out with your dream with action. That's a great interpretation. Thank you. I didn't quite hear that. <laughs> I said I like your texture, your background, how it comes out, or it can come in. Anyone else? I would like to see it without the second one, but keep the white in there. Like you see how towards your bottom, right, you have that white kind of um, clashing with the black. Yeah. To continue that throughout, kind of like, I don't want to sound like a beaner, <laughs> kind of like in Star Wars. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what, exactly what I was thinking. Or even uh, kind of reminds me of some of the Superman uh, trailers. But, I don't know, I'd have to see it without the, the 
second I have to drink the white one. But keep the white in there. Like I'm saying I like the white in there, mm -hmm. but take that second I have a dream out and kind of maybe with the um paint, like the brush and kind of paint white lines in there and then pull them however you did it. Well, I like, I like that, but like I said, you know, when he said it, um, I didn't want to put like 100 or a million I have a dreams on there, but like I said, I think that when he said it, I think it inspired people to go forward with, you know, with their objectives and what their dreams are. But I appreciate the feedback. Anyone else? Yeah, that was that was uh, a consideration. I researched it and I found that uh, Martin Luther King's favorite color was green. And so you you know you I didn't want to I don't know I was thinking that something about green wasn't really working. I don't know what it, what it was just you know my personal preference. But I do know that you have to have yellow and blue to make green. So I chose yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I think it's great. It's very impactful. I love your process. I'm glad that you showed us where you kind of started with it. Well, I, appreci I definitely appreciate you, like, um, you know, because like I said, I don't like topography, but, you know, you made me grow in that area. <laughs> what? I don't like typography. I don't. I, I, believe, I believe that the art can say what it says, but that I didn't come in here to do what I like. It came in here to try to learn, you know, what the instructor, what the instructor um, wanted me, where he wanted me to go, and I think he did a good job with that. So um, uh, thank you all very much. Nice work. Thank you. Very nice. Who next? There we go. Well, this is sort of an accumulation of everything. What? It's sort of an accumulation of everything. It looked up. Okay. Um, my project is about the campus. Sweet dreams are made of this. Um, I learned a lot about Photoshop and the etiquette, some etiquette of Photoshop that you don't want to, I mean, you can have, you have the ability to um, bring forth emotions and feelings with Photoshop. And so discretion always has its place. Um, this is about a dream that I had. Everybody knows that by now. This is the reason why I wore this um, mask today because it's the most nightmare looking thing that I have. framing the picture and the railing um, and up here obviously is the outside of the 410 building and the reason why I chose to do it that way is because in a dream you go from or a nightmare you go from place to place you just you don't walk or say I'm going to go there all of a sudden you're there so I wanted to um, put that into the into the um, storyboard or to the um, artboard um, and the two, um, uh, the two uh, perspectives of the plane, which is something that I also would um, 
it seemed like I experienced inside of dreams. I don't know how you all dream, but I think it's just some similarities. So, guys, feedback. I think he did an excellent job with the design and um, blending and taking the samples and using all the skills we've learned in class. The clone tool <laughs> was something that was very helpful um, at the end because um, everything is not. <laughs> Everything is perfect. Um, so the, the clone tool helped me to make things uh, a little bit more the way I wanted it to. So, yeah, thank you. I did get a chance to use a lot of the things that we learned. Anyone else? Um, tell us how you technically did what you did, what kind of tools did you use, how many layers are there, how many images? Okay. Well, I started out with um, the picture, the landscape of the 410 building. Mm -hmm. uh, and that same day, I caught that plane coming across over here by this junkyard. I was taking pictures. So these two pictures were taken on the same day. The, the cloud formation in the background, I got up, I took that at, uh, up in the Ashley Phosphate Road. Um, and so these are... And then this one in the front of the picture plane is a picture that I, I took from inside of the, the uh, inside of the uh, 410 building. So I have one, two, three, four, five pictures in there. And then um, the reflection that the uh, 410 building was thrown into the pond, I cloned that over onto um, this side of the of the uh, picture, so that it would be balanced. But uh, uh, there's like way more than five layers. I have to, I have to unlock layers on the D2L. Okay, cool. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Who's next?